Hi, I'm Alison Bush, you're the Cake Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to make moth orchids using the patchwork cutter set. Um, this is just a normal uh, moth orchid one. I know that, that Marion does a large one as well, so if you wanted a really large uh, moth orchid for your cake, then that's a really good set to use as well. But this is the standard one that um, I'm going to use. Um, as I've said previously, patchwork cutters are a little bit tricky if you don't know how to do it properly. So I'm going to show you step by step how to make these beautiful moth orchids that I'm going to actually going to put onto a cake at the end of it. Okay. So the very first thing we're going to do is to uh, trex our board a little. Okay. The trex is really important because it, it's the way patchwork cutters work. So I'm going to put this all over. Um, as you know, I'm using a Corian board. Um, I'm just going to take off the excess. I don't want it dripping in tracks. So that's nice and greased up. Okay. Um, now this patchwork cutter orchid set uh, consists of three pieces that we're going to, actually going to use to make up the actual orchid. Um, first thing we need to do is grease them. So a little bit of tracks on your fingers. You don't want too much on there. You want it to be greased rather than saturated. So just a little bit around each one. Make sure you do it all properly. So a little bit of grease, a little bit of tracks on your cutter. All over. Same with this one. You might need a little bit more. Oops. So, with this more detailed one, it's more important to get the treks right into the, that very thin cut edge at the end. Okay. So, a little bit of treks all around there. And we're ready to go. So, the next thing to do is to roll out some white sugar paste sorry flower paste I'm actually going to use Renshaw's um, flower and modeling paste as usual so I've rolled this out nice and thin and I've left it on the board I've not lifted it usually we lift the paste to make sure it's not stuck to the board but because we're using patchwork cutters we actually want it to be stuck to the board so I'm just going to roll this so I get it nice and thin all over Okay, so we're going to cut this piece out first. Put that one on there. And we're going to press down evenly all the way around. You want to make sure that it's cut all the way through. Okay, and that, this one's actually got a little hook so you can lift it off more easily. And we'll do the same with this piece here as well. Okay, so press down. Cut all the way around and then just get rid of that extra piece. So we then lift off the excess. That leaves us with our two pieces nicely cut through. So let's put that away. Um, I then use a piece of card, laminated card, just to lift this off my board so it doesn't tear or move in any way. I'm going to put this one back in the box for the time being. I'm going to lift this one off. There we go. Okay. Next job is to widen those petals a little bit. So we're going to use... There it is. I knew it was there somewhere. We're going to use this veiling tool. Um, and we're just going to rock this backwards and forwards over the entire petal. It does two things. It widens the petal. It softens the edge. Actually, it does three things. Um, widens the, the petal, softens the edge so it doesn't look so stamped out. And I don't know whether you can make it out. It gives it a slight texture to it as well. So same with this one. Make sure you go right to the edges because you want that nicely softened edge to your petal. There we go. 
Next thing we need to do is we need to put a little bit of colour on this. So I'm actually going to use a tiny little bit of rose and a tiny little bit of champagne because I think the rose will be too dark and I don't want it too in your face. So I'm just going to mix those two together. I have a brush somewhere here. What have I just done with that? There it is. Okay, so just give those a little bit of a together so we don't then it should come give us a nice soft warm pinky color so a little bit of this mixture just gently we don't want it too dark so just gently at the center of each petal that's it all done we then put it in a former to set a little before we do our next stage Going back to our next one, again we are going to thin this using this little veining tool just to get rid of that cut edge. You don't have to be too precious about this one because we're going to squish it in a minute. Okay, so just give it a nice gentle thing and then this is actually a poppy veiner I've got because I couldn't get a hold of the orchid veiner but it does the same job. So just pop it in there and peel it off and as you can see a nicely textured petals. There we go. Peel that off. Lovely. Uh, we go back to our little bit of dust. And again, we're just going to go for a little bit of colour from the centre outwards. That's it. Just a little bit of colour there, centre outwards. That's that bit done. We're then going to put some glue on, which I'll do in a moment. And this then goes into the former, so it fits in there like that. And that needs to dry off just a little bit. Okay, so the, the centerpiece, I've rolled aside some uh, pale lemon colour paste. I'm now going to do exactly the same as before. I'm going to cut round it, so press evenly all the way round, and then flick it off. Oh, that's gone in the water. Okay, peel off the excess. Be careful. There we go. And then we're going to lift this on to your board. There we go. That goes on to here. Um, just make sure that that is split all the way through. There we go. And then with a ball tool, we're going to work into the center of each of these ends there. Okay, so you get a cupped shape to them. Okay, and then with these ones down here, you are going to stretch and elongate them. So you just stretch it out and then you roll, if I can do it properly, you roll them back in on themselves. So they go back in. There we go, back in on itself. There we go. So you want them rolled in like that. And what you then need to do is add a tiny spot of a different colour. So a little bit of glue in the centre there. Uh, a peachy pinky colour so you put that on you're also going to with the back of your scalpel put a mark through the middle and then that gets glued on what you can do at this point as well is if you want to add a little bit of a pattern to it using the edible uh, pens 
you can put little dots all over this bit. Be quite random about it. Try not to be OCD and make sure that you that don't have them all regimented. You do want them nice and random. Okay, there we go. That's the centerpiece done. And then next thing you need to do is because you want them to dry with a bit of a curve. Now I've left my uh, drying mat in, in the workshop, so I'm just going to improvise by using a egg box. So that just needs to dry off just a little bit in there. And then I'm going to add that to the centre of the orchid. So I shall show you how that looks after. So the final thing we need to do just to finish this off is to attach our centre to the centre of our orchid. Um, use edible glue and just attach that in there like that gently but firmly now you have to leave that now uh, don't be tempted to touch it don't be tempted to try it out just leave it um, and when it's completely set and completely hard and dry then I'm going to attach it to my cake with some royal icing I've got the cake here so I'll show you how that looks at the very end there you go there's the, the finished cake uh, this the video doesn't quite do justice to it. It's a beautiful lemon colour um, with the pretty little white orchids on. Uh, and as you saw, very easy to do once you know how to use patchwork cutters. Okay, thank you.